Jake. Right, thank you, Jake. So Friday, the president said that we got rid of Al Qaeda in Afghanistan. Sunday, the Secretary of State said there is Al Qaeda in Afghanistan. So are you presenting the president with the full picture or is he just misapplying the intelligence when he makes these public statements? The president was referring to Al Qaeda's capability to attack the United States, which the intelligence community tells us today is not present in Afghanistan. But today, it is not present in Afghanistan. What is present in Afghanistan right now to our forces at the airport is a serious threat from ISIS-K, which we're trying to deal with. And of course there's the possibility that al-Qaeda could reconstitute an external plotting capability in Afghanistan. That's why you've heard from the president repeatedly about the need for an over-the-horizon capability that will allow the United States working with partners to continue to suppress the terrorism threat in Afghanistan from al-Qaeda or ISIS-K or anyone else, just as we work to suppress the terrorism threat from al-Qaeda and ISIS in Yemen, in Syria, in Somalia, in the Islamic Maghreb, in many other countries. And let me just finish by saying the President has been clear that from his perspective, American counterterrorism capabilities have evolved to the point where we can suppress that terrorism threat without keeping thousands or tens of thousands of troops on the ground in a country. We have proven that out in other countries, and that is isn't exactly what we intend to do in Afghanistan. And the President has spoken about the terrorism issue in Afghanistan repeatedly on multiple occasions.